Hello and welcome to this session. I'm Raghav and in this video we are going to learn about authorization in Postman and we will see some types of authorization and then I will show you a very simple example and a practical demo to show how authorization works. So in very simple words, authorization is verifying the identity or checking if the user is authenticated to use the API or the resources. If I go to Postman and if I create a new request, you will see there is a tab for authorization here and if I go inside this tab here are different types of authorization we have token based authorizations like bearer token OAuth and then we have basic auth where we just need to provide a username and password so these are different types of authorizations and all are available here and to show you a very simple example I'm going to use the github APIs so I will go and log into my github account you can also log into your account or if you do not have a github account you can create an account and then i'm going to use some github apis so you can see we have some apis some rest apis for github that we can use to create repositories manage repositories and do other activities uh, i'm just going to search for uh, github rest api and here we have these apis from github developer I'm going to go here and you can see here we have all these APIs available and uh, this is the endpoint this is the URL or the resource URL let me copy this and I will create a new request in Postman and I will just copy this URL here and now to get the API you can see different APIs I'm going to go to these repositories I will create a API to create a repository and here you can see all the repositories related APIs and here is a API to create repository for the authenticated user I'm going to go here to this API and here are the details and you can see this is how you can create a have a API to create a repository and here it says it is a post request and this is the endpoint so let me first copy this endpoint from here and I will add to the URL and then I will make this as a post request and then you can see here are the parameters and out of all the parameters only name is the required parameter so I can create a body just with name parameter and if you scroll down you will also find an example so let me just copy this example body from here and I will go to the body section and go to raw and paste this and this is a JSON so I will select JSON from here and I can also click on beautify so that it beautifies the request so we have got our API request created we have the HTTP method post we have the endpoint or the URL and then we have the body now if I send this request let us see the output so here you can see in the response I am getting 401 that is unauthorized because we have not provide any authentication or any um, data to authenticate the user so that is why I am getting 401 unauthorized so I will need to provide some kind of authorization here and to do that I will go to my github account here and then go to settings and here I will go to developer settings and now from here I will go to personal access tokens and here I can create tokens and I will click on generate new token and I can give any name here I will just say this is for postman testing so that I remember this and then uh, here you can select the scopes for now I just need repository and then I will click on generate token and here is the token generated I can now copy it from here and here this is a token based authentication so I will go to my postman and go to my request go to authorization and here I can either use it in the bearer token and provide the token here 
or I can also go to OAuth 2.0 and I can copy the token here and let us try now I will send the request again and let us see the output and yes you can see now here I am getting 201 created and here I can also see the response so that means it was successful if I go to my github and check so you can see this repository hello world is created here and it was just created few seconds ago so whatever name you have given here this particular repository is now created now the other thing is here you will also see a message that says uh, these parameters are sensitive so you can uh, keep them in variables so that it is not visible here all these tokens and passwords and for that you can go to your environment or global variables so let me just go to the environment and here I will add an environment and I will say this is github environment this is just for easy understanding and I will create a new variable I will say token and I will give the value of the token here now if you want to keep this personal only provide the value in the current value section and do not provide it in the initial value whatever you provide here will be visible to others when you share your repository or if you are working in teams and whatever you provide here will be only visible to you so I am not providing any value here and I will just say add your token so that it is this is what will be visible to others and now I have given a variable token here and this is my token value and the environment is this I will say add and it is added here and I will also have to use the environment and select the environment from this drop down and now here instead of providing the hard coded value I will refer this from the environment and for that uh, to refer it from the environment variable I have to give double curly braces and then I will use the value here for the variable and this is what token is and make sure that you have selected the environment if you do not select the environment here then you will not be able to access the variable here so I will select the environment you can also use a global variable and now I can try to run this again and check and of course I will have to change the repository name otherwise it will be a duplicate so let me try this now I will just click on send and I should get a message that this is could not be created because the name already exists so therefore I will have to change this and now I will try to send again and yes I am getting 201 created if I go and check on my github account and here I have got this new repository created here as well so this is how you can use the authorization and also you can provide authorization at a collection level for example if I go to some collection I will go and click on edit and here again we have a authorization tab so in case you have a authorization which is applicable to all the requests inside the collection you can give it at once only single time here at the collection level and all the request inside the collection will follow this authorization and in case you have any folders you can provide it at a folder level let me show you an example suppose I have a folder here I will go and click on edit and then I have a authorization here so if you want to put all your API request uh, which follow a uh, simple single authentication or authorization and you can put them inside a folder and all will follow the authorization from here so this is how you can do authorization in postman i hope this was useful for you thank you for watching